welcome back to our channel in our previous video we have learned how to use matcard in angular application we have used that angular material card um, in all books page you can see your we are having four book details what will happen if i add more books in the service let's see go to our application we have created this book service in our previous video and we are using this service in all books page um, in this book service, we are having uh, four objects. Now, let's copy few objects and put a comma, paste it below that and save the changes. Go back to the browser. You can see here, we are having all the books in a single row. The design is not good. Uh, we have to update this design so that we can have n number of books in this particular page. In this HTML file, we have returned this code to display the code. We are using this Angular Material code. Here, we are having this class example code. Now, let's open the corresponding SCSS file. This is the maximum width for this code. Let's modify this class name. Let's say book code and let's update this name in HTML file also. And save the changes. Now we have to write some CSS uh, for the container. Let's remove this padding and let's write flex wrap wrap. Here I'm using this uh, flex wrap for flex designing. Now let's add one more CSS greater than and then asterisk. Here we will use flex one one and then maximum width for code is 300 pixel and let's update the width here also 300 and save the changes. Let's see in the browser, see here, we have four books in a row. In the second row, we are having uh, three books. We are having these books in multiple row. Um, now, we need to provide some gap in between these books. For that, uh, we can use margin in book card class. Let's say five pixel and save the changes. See here, it is looking good now and we have some space in between these cords and these books are aligned on left side. We can place them in center of the pages. For that, in the container class, use justify content center and save the changes. Go back to the browser. Now we are having all the books in the center of the page. If you want to update a uh, width of the code, then you can update it here. Now make it 400 and update it here also and save the changes. See here, we are having um, three codes in a row because its width is uh, 400 pixel. That's why we cannot have four codes in the row. Now let's update the width to 350 pixel and here also save the changes. Okay, now um, it is looking good. Now we have three books and the space is full. Right click here and choose inspect. Let's see the mobile view. Now we are having all the books in a single column. Now we are having this responsive UI. This is how we can use mat code in Angular application. I hope um, you like this video. Thanks for watching this video.